Today we're in Dursley and at Dursley Tabernacle where they've worked hard to transform their buildings. So close, tell me how it happened Standing in the tapers, tell me how to fix this now we're going to visit the family cafe which meets in the worship area on a Wednesday. You know, this tab has an amazing family, an extended family. We all feel like we are part of one big family. Uh, and it was really important to us when we set up the, the cafe that we could reach out into the community. So it was really important that it was it was open to everybody. Anybody can walk in. Uh, we have mums, we have dads, we have grandparents, we have people just rocking up for a coffee. Um, I'm, I'm probably responsible for some expanding waistlines in Dursley. <laughs> wonderful cakes. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's free, you don't charge a, a membership fee. Cut. It's really important that it's free to use, you know. We want people to come in and to use the space, whether they can have money to buy coffee or not. And I give, I love to give somebody a cup of tea. Um, you know, they come in because they're struggling sometimes and we can just take a cup of tea and that can open up a conversation where you can either hold a tiny baby, which I really love, um, but also just um, be there for them. Uh, they can, it might be the only conversation they have where they can go, oh my word, I'm having such a horrible time. And you can just say, you know, kind of come, come and talk to us, you know, you can come to this space and you're welcome. So there's something hugely symbolic in removing the pews and being open to what God's going to do with you. Very scary, but these things have resulted, and we've been blessed by it. Emma brought this uh, suggestion about having a family cafe. It was a real test of our spiritual openness to use this for the glory of God. And the church meeting said, "Yeah, overwhelmingly, let's give it a go." They were willing to risk these chairs, which cost seventy pound each, to have toddlers crawling all over them and with their sticky fingers but they weren't precious about it. They were willing to give it up and serve to God. And they walk in and they say, this is an amazing space. You are amazing people to do this. Why do you do it? And we can say, because we want to show Christ like love, you know, and hospitality, and you are welcome. And right now, I'm outside what used to be the man, but is now a thriving youth project called The Vibe. Let's go and see what's happening and what is the good news here at Dursley Town. If you actually stop to think about what we've done, it's mad. It, it, <laughs> How could it happen? But it did, because everybody just helped out. Dursley doesn't have cinemas or it has a swimming pool but it has very little for young people to do uh, and we really saw the need. We knew that Dursley needed a youth centre. There used to be a little youth centre, uh, Sainsbury's built on that so we, we lost it and we missed a generation so we saw the need and we got on with it. Uh, any of you boys want to make? Yeah. What are you making? What we 
got planned for tonight? Tonight we're doing some baking. Uh, the guys will probably want to do some, some table tennis and the pool table will be out. Um, the football will be out. They'll be wanting to do all sorts of things. Yeah, we're getting lots of new people in. It is, yeah, it's really good. But the Synod have been fantastic too in this. The Synod uh, seeded us by giving uh, grants from the Synod Mission Fund to fund our youth worker initially and then our development worker. And the Synod have given that expertise as well when we needed it. They've been big brother looking after us through all this process. They've been fantastic. What would you say was the real good news story from Dursley Tab? The good news story from Dursley Tab is this declining church suddenly found new life in uh, reaching out to others. It's found new life in going back to the gospel and the grace of the gospel, the welcome of the gospel, the inclusiveness of the gospel. And by seeing how it could use its property and building to open them up and allow community to come in and use them for all these great things, uh, it's rediscovering afresh again the ministry of Jesus. Yeah.